Hi everyone, welcome to day two of graphing linear equations in slope intercept form. Let's go ahead and make sure that you have all the supplies you're going to need today. You will need a pencil, graph paper, and a ruler. All right, why don't you go ahead and write down example one. Our equation is 5x plus y equals 9. As you can see, we are not in slope-intercept form. So we are going to have to do some inverse operations to get ourselves into slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so um, I want to isolate the y so that I've got y all by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. And in order for us to do that, we're going to have to get rid of this 5x that's over here on the left with our y. So we're going to get rid of that using an inverse operation of subtracting 5x on both sides. That'll cancel out our 5x's here, and it will isolate the y. Now because I want to rewrite this so it looks like slope-intercept form, I'm going to put the negative 5x first, and then that's with a positive 9, so I'll write plus 9. I now know my slope is negative 5 which I'm going to rewrite as a fraction, negative 5 over 1. My y-intercept, or b, is going to be positive 9. Okay, so b is our starting point on the y-axis. I'm going to go up to positive 9 and draw my starting point. From there, I'm going to use my slope, the rise over run, to help me graph some more points. So since my slope is negative 1 over 5, my rise is negative 1, but a negative rise means we are going to move down 5 from our starting point, and then write 1 because that run is a positive 1. Okay, I'm going to continue that pattern, down 5, write 1, down 5, write 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag, grab my straight edge, or my ruler, and draw that line. Why don't you go ahead and do that same thing right now. Remember when we draw our straight line, we want that to go all the way across our graph, and we want to put the arrows on both ends. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at example number two. Our equation is 3x plus 4y equals 20. Remember our goal is to isolate y, get y by itself. The first thing we need to get rid of is the 3x, so we're going to do that by subtracting 3x on both sides, and that'll cancel these guys out. That leaves me with 4y is equal to negative 3x plus 20. All right, I'm going to still need to divide by 4 in order to get that y by itself, but that means that every term on the other side is also going to be divided by 4. These 4's will cancel out, and I now have y isolated, so y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 5. My slope is negative 3 over 4, and my y-intercept, or b, is positive 5. Okay, going to the graph, we're going to put positive 5 as our starting point on the y-axis. And from there, we're going to use our slope, down 3, right 4, to create some more points. So from our starting point, down 3, right 4, put a point. From that new point, we will again go down 3, right 4, and put another point. Okay, at this time, go ahead and grab your straight edge and draw your straight line. Go ahead and make sure that your line is all the way across your graph and has arrows at both ends. And we're done with example two. All right, our last example is x minus 3y is equal to 15 and we again need to isolate y. 
Remember that if there is no number in front of our variable x, it means there is one of those. So when I go to do that inverse operation to eliminate my x, I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides. Which will cancel these x's out. I still have a negative 3y. Be careful that you don't drop that negative sign. The subtraction symbol that's in between the x and the 3y now becomes a negative sign attached to the 3y. That'll be equal to negative 1x plus 15. Okay, next we're going to need to divide by negative 3. And remember that every term on the other side gets divided by that negative 3. That's going to cancel out our negative 3's here. And we have y by itself. The negative 1 divided by the negative 3 is going to give us a positive one-third x plus negative 5. Our slope is one-third and our b is negative 5. Negative 5 is our starting point on the y-axis. So we're going to go ahead and graph that on the y-axis right now. And from there our, our rise over run is going to be up 1, right 3. Up 1, right 3, etc. Till we've got our, our points and then we'll go ahead and grab our straight edge and draw our line. All right, after you've drawn your straight line, please make sure that you've got arrows on both ends. And I think you're ready to go for today. Good luck, you guys.